And as we head into the second week of early voting, we want to highlight another important race happening in Corpus Christi on this year's ballot. We're talking about the face off for District 2, better known as the Bayside area. Our Lexus Green is here in the studio to introduce us to the two candidates in that contest. Lexus. Thank you, Mike and Leslie. Yes, the battle for Bayside. Who's it going to be? Will incumbent Sylvia Campo stay for another term or will Ben Molina take his seat back? But first, here are some of the issues that are important to them this election. Ben Molina and I am running for a city council district. Okay. Sylvia Campos, uh, city council woman at district two. We asked both candidates to put aside some of the larger citywide issues for a moment and focus on the issues that District 2 is specifically facing. And here's what they had to say. Streets are always a priority. Uh, we've uh, made a lot of repairs uh, and even the major reconstruction that's going on right now on Alameda and Everhart, those, were, uh, those funds were secured and scheduled under my tenure. Um, and so the focus will always be our streets and our infrastructure, animal control, and then of course uh, economic development is very, very important to me. Campo says a huge priority of hers is not only the streets and animal control, but the sidewalks. The sidewalks is a big issue because since we're, we have most of the older neighborhoods, you know, there has been no repair and it's in the ordinance right now that the, the, um, the resident is responsible for that sidewalk. Well, we're going to have to change that. And while on the topics of streets, both candidates addressed how they plan to keep small businesses from being impacted by the large construction projects in the area. Both candidates say it's going to start with communication. Not just with the business owners to let them know uh, that uh, the, the project is taking place and how long it's going to take place and what the schedule is like, uh, but also with the community. We need to let them know that these businesses are still open while the street is under construction, and we need to encourage um, our, our, uh, our residents, our citizens, to help those businesses out. It's business to business. I mean, you know, some can withstand like a long time, but others cannot. So I think it's a matter of them calling us and making sure that, you know, what is it that we can do? If, they're, if they've gone down a significant amount, then we need to definitely, you know, check into it and see what the city can offer. I asked each candidate why they're running for District 2, and we'll have those answers for you tonight at 10. For now, you still have nine days to get those votes in. Back to you guys. All right, thank you for that, Lexus.